Hi guys. Okay, before we start today's video, we are going to open the last three perfumes. You guys, whew, I've been excited because I have enjoyed just opening these up on camera and going over the scents with you guys. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have been working with Dossier. They are a... Um, perfume website that what they do is they sell you the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fraction of the cost like their prices start like $29 and they go up I think to like maybe $59 but they're really good they have men's women's and unisex now I do like a lot of the unisex ones um this is what the packaging looks like and then you open up the box and ah, you have a card and the card will tell you the notes what it's inspired by how much concentration it gives you a little thank you tells you how it works now their mission is to deliver the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price giving you the freedom to explore new scents. And what you do is when you get it, you get a perfume and then you get like a sample. So you use the sample to see if you actually like it. If you do, then you keep it. If you don't, you send this back, the big bottle, keep the sample, and you get a full refund, no questions asked. That's awesome. I love that. Okay, this one is Floriental Almond. And one thing that I like to tell everybody, I love the packaging. It's simple. And it has the notes at top, on the top. Then it has the name. And I love this. To me, this shows that they spent their money on the fragrance instead of the packaging. And I really just like a simple package. I really do. So I can just, I see what it says. I know what it is. And I can wear it. So this is Floriental Almond. I think this one's going to be good because it says, Notes, Almond, Peach, Orris, Orange Blossom, Tubero, Tonka Bean, Vanilla, Cocoa. Ooh, Cocoa. Okay, let's try this. That's, that's not bad. That smells familiar. This is inspired by Carolina Her Herrera, Good Girl. So it's not bad. And this, magnetic. Love that. There you go. Magnetic. Okay. We tried that one. It's, how are you doing, girl? Is there a reason that you come in here every time I film to just lay there and watch me? I think she knows the girls are getting ready to come home. Okay. This one is floral grapefruit. Notes. Grapefruit, pear, black currant. Hyacinth, jasmine, lilac, urus, musks, amberwood. So I've definitely got picked out quite a few fall oh that smells good definitely picking up the grapefruit okay so we got that one last but not least what do we have what are you fruity jasmine inspired by dior je, je adore i have wanted this perfume for a long time but the notes are mandarin, green leaf, sweet pea, jasmine, lang lang, champaca, peach, sandalwood, plum, and musk. I have a lot of them that had musk in them and sandalwood. Okay. Now, I wanted this because of the commercial and the reviews are always good. So, let's see. Oh. Okay. I really like this. I am really impressed because some of these that we have opened over the last, these last four videos, I had the 
the what the inspiration perfume and they really smelled really good real similar so you guys definitely check them out i'm going to leave the link below the link will get you a 10 percent discount also if it's your first purchase you get 20 percent off on top of that 10 percent so that gives you like 30 percent off of your first purchase and that's awesome that is awesome so you guys go check them out let me know what you think and let's start the video hey everyone it's Lori and welcome back to my channel you guys today I have a <laughs> I have a pretty good size haul I have some fashion I have some shoes I have some home stuff for Christmas mostly Christmas decor um I think that's probably about it I have you guys I have decorated my house for Christmas look my tree is up in there I have a tree back there wait a minute let me turn you around I have a tree right there yeah we decorated well we put the trees up the weekend of Halloween uh, it rained really hard here the girls didn't want to go trick-or-treating so instead we went to the barn pulled out all our totes and all our Christmas trees and we all got to decorating and I mean I've just got I mean I am decking the halls let me just tell you but um I I see a lot of videos on YouTube and um you know everybody's sitting down and they're planning out how they want to decorate I don't plan how I want to decorate I just do it I use the same stuff every year um I always buy a few pieces freaking fly I buy a few pieces here and there every year but I don't just change out my decor each year I just each year I add to what I already have and when it comes to Christmas I like the traditional the reds the whites the greens and I love neutrals um, I love the trees like I'm obsessed with like these tabletop trees like I have them everywhere but I'm just more of the I'm more of the traditional and no I don't sit down I don't plan out my uh, Christmas decor I don't I don't think of where I'm gonna put something like I did put the big tree in the opposite corner this year but like my skinny tree it's where it was last year my newest skinny tree I put in the laundry room because people walk through that door all the time so that's the first thing they see and yeah we are we are decorated and we are done um, I will do a Christmas tour. Now, I haven't done my outside. My outside is still fall. And this is the second year I've ever decorated this early. But I love Christmas. I love decorating for Christmas. I go all out when it comes to the decor. And... I think September, October for fall, and then November and December for Christmas. And then as soon as Christmas is done, my shit comes down, and it's put back in the totes, and it's taken to the barn. So, this, like I said, it's the second year I've ever decorated this early, and we're just enjoying it. Thanks, COVID. You taught us to decorate early for Christmas. But I've noticed so many of my friends have their trees up they're posting pictures of them on facebook of them going up november 1st and i was like yes i'm not the only one so i do have that stuff uh but i did buy some more uh stuff for christmas decor that i will show you it's just a few more things and yeah i got some fashion here i want to show you and some shoes in my last video i said i wanted to get a pair of the Doc Martin uh, platforms. Well, Nordstrom finally got them back in in my size. It said size nine, and then right beside it, it said that they had just a few pair. So I ordered them two, two or three days ago. I haven't got a shipping on them yet, and it is 
their website is now showing that the boot is completely gone. It's sold out all sizes. And so I'm really hoping that they go ahead and send them out to me. I know there's been a few times that I've tried to get something. And when it says just a few are left, usually it's always 50-50. Either I get it or they send me an email saying that they sold out because somebody else pulled them and got them. Okay, let's start with shoes first. Uh, Walmart had these shoes, but they didn't have my size. And I have checked and checked and checked and checked. And they've never gotten my size back in. They're sold out online. And so I found them on Target. And that is the slides. You guys, I wear the regular ones all the time. I went through two pairs this year. I, I go through about two pairs every year because I wear them so much that they just get really dirty and nasty and it gets to the point where I don't want to stick my feet in them. But I would wear them all year long if they were warm. So these have fur. So I'm hoping that these are warm because I really love these sandals. I love them. They're my favorite sandals. Like I said, I wear them all the time. I can't remember. I don't think I wore any other sandals this year. No flip-flops, no nothing, except for my slides that don't have the fur. And now that the temperature's dropping, it was 29 this morning, I'm going to wear them with fur. And I'm going to enjoy them. I was really wanting the dark brown, which is what Walmart had, but Target had this light brown. I love these. I'm so excited. I'm going to wear them. And the same day that I ordered those, I also ordered a pair on Amazon. I didn't know Amazon had them. But when I Googled them, they came up as with Amazon. Now, these are a little bit different. Or they're the same shoe. They have the fur. But as you can tell, this is more of a fluffy fur. And this is more of a kind of like a the fur that's in Uggs. You know what I'm saying? It's not the real fluffy. But yeah. Awesome. Brown like I wanted. So I'm pretty excited. I will definitely be wearing these. These are going to now be my fall. And post and pre-winter. Um, otherwise I'll probably be wearing my Doc Martens. Because I'm a Doc Martin fanatic. Okay. I went to Burke's Outlet and I found these, uh, these are rocket dogs, right? Rocket dogs. I think they're rocket dogs. Blowfish. These, these are by Blowfish. They have the zipper right there. They have some fur on them, but I got these to wear with my leggings and sweatshirts. And I think they'll also be cute with uh, jeans. But oh my gosh, how cute. I love them, so I got those. Then, I got some clothing over the weekend. We left the house. We were just going to go to Walmart, and the next thing you know, we ended up in Ashland, because let me tell you, my phone was on the charger, and I just left it here thinking we would be right back. And we came back at, I don't know, seven, eight hours later, you guys, I had two missed calls. I had two text messages for my grandson. If you watched uh, my video, a couple videos back, I was talking about him. He had left me some messages. Uh, he did come over that night. He had been over that day, just out of the blue, showed up. I was so excited to have those text messages and then phone calls. But yes, he did come over and I can't wait. To be going to his basketball games. I'm going to his games. This is my only time I'm going to get to see him play basketball because he is a senior. So, for basketball, I had went to Walmart and picked up a t-shirt. And what I'm going to do is have his name and number put on the back. And he mentioned that I could go to Holbrook's and they would... Uh, Make me a t-shirt also. So I went down to Holbrook's the next morning. And I had this one made. It says Go Vikings. Because it was around County Vikings. And then the back. 
has Collins and number 12 because that is his jersey number. So I am going to be representing hardcore at the games. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Uh, I've got the schedule hanging on the refrigerator. We went over his schedule, looked at it. First game, November 30th. I've waited a long time to watch him play ball, and I'm excited. So, that's awesome. Okay, I went to American Eagle, and I I went to the Airy side because I love Airy, especially in the winter. Their sweatshirts are ah, amazing. But I picked up this one, and you can see it's like the waffle knit, like a, um, what is it, a long john t-shirt or something, but it's a sweatshirt. Yes, I have on pajama pants, but look how big it is. I love it. I had seen it online and didn't know if I would like it. And you guys, I was watching Laura Lee, because that girl cracks me up. She's hilarious. I, she's just funny. But um, she did a haul, and she bought this, but she said it was the most comfortable shirt ever, and she wanted every color. So when I tried it on, I was like, uh, yes, and now I want every color. Um, but so I picked this up. It was on sale. It was like 31% off. And then I got this from the Clarence. I'm like, I am loving this. Look at this. Big, huge, oversized boyfriend sweatshirt. It's got like a pocket here. But you guys, this is so comfortable. I have worn this. See, I got it Saturday. Today is Wednesday. And I know I've worn this two or three times already. A lot of times I just wear it around the house. But, oh my gosh, it's so comfortable. It is very, very, very comfortable. Okay, I got this sweatshirt from Walmart. It is from Time and True. I like the color. It's like that blue-gray. Um because you can see it's got more of a gray in it than what I have on. But it's, here we go, a blue gray. I got to do an extra large. It's not one of the long ones. It goes over my waist, but still, it is really comfortable. But it was $14.98. So I picked that up at Walmart. Love. Now I'm not going in any order. On this okay so this is another airy sweatshirt I showed you guys the tie-dye one in my American Eagle haul well they finally got the gray one in so I grabbed the gray one because gray is just my favorite color I love to wear gray sweatshirts gray shirts gray t-shirts gray tennis shoes gray shoes um, not real big on gray pants but you know I love gray tops and it's it's, this is like the most comfortable hoodie ever. I absolutely love it. It covers your butt. It is great for leggings. It's so good. So I got that. And you guys know I love free people. <laughs> free people clothing is the bomb. I absolutely love them. Well, they've had this jacket and I just didn't want to pay what they want for it. Well, Target came out with their version of it, and let me tell you, I'm obsessed with this jacket. Look at this. Absolutely obsessed. Okay, now, it is like sweatshirt material, and then it's like sweatshirt turned wrong side. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I think that's what, just what they did, because when you flip it around, it's back to sweatshirt material. So they took it and they just turned some of it inside out. So you have the fluffy and then you have the smooth. But this jacket is so good, you guys. It is so good. Uh, it wasn't very much. I will uh, look it up. I will link it below if they have it. And just remember everything. I link everything below. Everything. But... Um, you can tell I've worn it because it's got my hair all over it. I wore this when we went to American Eagle over the weekend. And then we were in Rural King. Kevin loves Rural King. He goes up there and gets uh, big boxes of honey buns. Just, he loves them. 
and they had some men's flannels. And you guys, I found this one. This color is gorgeous. Now, it looks orange when I look into the viewfinder, but this is like a rusty orange. I don't know how to get it to show the actual here, we're getting pretty close. It's like a rusty orange because when I back it up, it gets more of a bright orange. But here we go. This is the color. And it's in a men's large tall. I had to get a tall so it would go over my bum. But, oh my gosh. Very comfortable. I have not worn it yet because I just got it. But I did try it on in the store before I purchased it. But the color, this is so fall. Just so fall. I love it. Leggings and like a flannel, not a flannel, but a tank top underneath. Because this is a flannel. It's going to be so good. So good. Okay. I picked up some pajamas when I was at Burke's Outlet. And the first ones I got was, I got this. This is a two-piece set, and I am obsessed. This is the top, and I got it in an extra large, and this is the bottoms. Um, it's kind of made small, but it stretches. I noticed that the leg part will stretch, but, I mean, I just sleep in it. Usually, I'll sleep in these in a tank top. But this is so adorable. I love it. Now let me tell you, harvest season is just bringing all these flies in my house and I need to stop. And also while I was there, they always have the cutest Christmas pajamas. And I just wanted these. They're not flannel. They're more of that really soft material like polyester and whatever else polyester and spandex and then i have the bottoms on because i'm just being comfortable to right now i have to go to basketball practice later brianne is playing basketball and so i just don't really want to get dressed yet it's cold it's like really cold outside but um I'm really excited for the clothes, and I am still fasting. That is still going on. But let me tell you, since my last update, I told you guys I had made it down to 170. It has been a week, and I am still 170. So I've hit like this plateau, and I need to get past it. Um, I was one. I got down to 170.6, and then I went up to 170.8, and then I went down to 170.4, then I went back up to 170.6, then I dropped all the way down to 170.2, and then I went back up to 170 point something, and then, and then uh, this morning I was 170.0. It's killing me because I can't get into the 160s. Once I can get into the 160s, that's really going to motivate me to really go hardcore. Um, but yeah, so still fasting, still working on it, not going to quit, not going to give up. I told you guys I'm going into 2022 a better person, a better person. Um... And that's what I plan to do. If you have emailed me or messaged me and I haven't responded, that means I haven't got it. Um, I know a lot of my emails will go into this file called All Mail. It's just a, it's two words, All Mail. And it's, I have my trash, my spam, and then All Mail. And like, there are things that will go in there that do not hit my spam, do not hit my mail, and I don't see them. And, like, I can empty it, 
And then tomorrow, there'll be stuff in there from last year. I'm like, but I emptied it yesterday because I tried to check it every so often. So if I haven't emailed you back, I just haven't got it. I'm really sorry. But like I said, if you want to go on this journey with me, let me know. We will do it together. Now, I am going to show you some more Christmas decor that I got because I really think everything I've got is Christmas decor. Okay, you guys, I'm going to take you back here and show you what I picked up at an antique store. Um, I was super excited. When we left the house the other day, we had went to Peddler's Mall because I was looking for some ice skates. I wanted some ice skates just to decorate with because I had some old sleds, and I was just going to put them on my old sled. I found some in Grayson. We ended up couple of cities away and I picked these up. Uh, the pink shoestrings are, are just a pair of old shoestrings I found. But I found me some ice skates. And then I found these little mittens. These are for a Christmas tree. But I just thought they kind of went with my decor right here. So I have my brand new skinny tree that I told you all I bought. Um... Just a scarf, and then I have that that I picked up. I've decorated this because I have to do a tour and show you. And then, of course, my daughter's mail. Um, but yeah, I picked those up. Super excited that I found those. We actually found four. We found four pairs. Um, but uh. Those were the cheapest ones. They didn't have a price on them, so she just gave me a cheaper price than what all the others were. I want a black pair. And uh, if I can find the black pair, I'll be really excited. Okay, let me show you what else I got. From Amazon, I ordered... Turn around. I ordered a whole pack of these candles from Amazon. I absolutely love them. I was going to show them to you because uh they're skinnier than the ones that i usually use look at that and i just stuck them in here um i didn't really go all out on my table this year like i usually do but i love those and it comes with a remote it actually came in this box here and there's nine of them and there's some that's even taller than this and a couple that are smaller Okay, let me show you what else I picked up. Uh, at that same antique store, I found this. It was just a couple bucks. Kevin says, really? You can buy that? I'm like, I collect brushes. That basket is full of, like, old paint brushes, just all kinds of brushes. But I think this, once um, I'm done with my Christmas decor, it will hang on that peg somewhere. But I picked that up. And then from Walmart, I ordered two more of the wreaths because my store is sold out of them. So I got two more. They're $12.98. And look at it. It's just got different textures. It's plastic. So it's going to last forever. I'm going to put them on my uh, one on each door. I have a total of four now. I have two in here hanging up. Because, like I said, I haven't decorated outside yet. I'm just going to wait before I decorate outside because I'm still enjoying my fall outside. <laughs> but, yeah, so I grabbed two more of those. I figured I could put them on the doors around here. And then I grabbed two of these. I ordered these also because I didn't see these in store either. But it's a nine-foot non-lit garland. And, uh... I put one on my TV, and then I think I'm going to put this one around my kitchen window. I haven't decided yet. I may just not even use it this year, but I'm really thinking I'm going to put it around my kitchen window. But I will show you what it looks like here in just a second. And I also, like these bulbs and stuff on this tray, let me turn here. These came in a pack for $4.98. They were silver 
red, and then there is some white ones, as you can see. But they came in a box of like 12 for $4.98. I told Kevin, I said, I should have bought another box. I should have bought another box. And then from Target, of course, I got the shoes that I showed you. And then I got these pot holders. Like, I just got these in the mail today. That fly. Mm -hmm. Perks of living in the country. Okay. But look at this pot holder. It has like, it's got like a pocket in it. How cool is that? And then it has this one. So I'm going to hang these up on my refrigerator. Because I still have my fall ones from House and Home on my fridge. But these were $8.99. And they are really thick. I really, really like these. So, they are from Hearth and Hand. And then I got the matching towels. Because I love their towels. Oh my gosh. I use the one that I got for Thanksgiving all the time. Like it's on my dishes right now. The ones I just washed. 100% cotton, kitchen towels, they were $9.99, hearth and hand, but I like how this is just muted, and then I'm obsessed with this, so these are going to go on my stove, I'm going to put them on the front of my stove, but yes, love these so much, okay, let me take you in and show you my TV. So if you guys would like to see like a house tour for my Christmas, uh, just let me know. See, I didn't do Christmas videos last year either. I don't know what it is. I think at Christmas it's, it's more about hanging out with the kids and the grandkids and, you know, us decorating. And I just don't, I don't feel that. So that is it guys. That's everything that I have for you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hit that red subscribe button below. You are the first ones to know every time I post a new video with you guys. I love you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.